friends, and welcome again to another Ecocalypse video! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we finally did it! Today is a good day, we finally did it! Absolutely did it with, with no ease, super hard, chapter 50 cleared, and of course not a perfect score, there's stars still to come, and Neftis, oh my god! this is one of the hardest stages not because of anything not because of the damage you can sustain a little bit you can deal damage especially if you don't have stars on some certain units but the problem is with neftis you need to control her or she'll keep healing and healing and healing what i did i will explain exactly what i did and i will show you the video and we're gonna talk through it so my squad is basically this so what i have is a stun from the mc i have a minimum chance to silence with Audrey, which is absolutely handy in some situations, and that's it. And I have my Neolith, my Neolith, this one, which have a 40% chance to inflict stun with the target with the highest HP. So I can stun the, the tanks or the front line of the enemies to, to like delay the burst that I'm gonna take until I deal with Neftis. Now, how do I deal with Neftis? Our leader. If you check his super and his ultimate, you know that he will stun a target, okay? There is a 40% chance to stun the target, which any target, like he can stun three of them because he hit three, I guess. Corresponding and surrounding. Okay, so he hit the one in front of him and the one to the left and to the right. So this is what I did, actually. I played him in the middle back line to stop Neftis, of course. And what I did is it wasn't enough. Even when I land silences with the auto attack of Audrey, it wasn't enough. So what I did is I switched uh, Dina, I switched her out, so I have my assist Nightingale. Now, of course, if you have Yulia built, you can play her and play Niz behind her. And this will be the freeze and you will absolutely destroy them. You can play Niz in here, uh, Yulia here and Niz behind her. So Yulia, then Niz in here, because Neftis will be at this row. If you play her here, they will never touch her because she's in the back line. What I played actually is uh, our girl uh, Nightingale, which everybody says she's trash, she doesn't help or she doesn't do anything. So I played the MC, I played her here. I sacrificed with her actually, to be honest. And I played Audrey. Audrey, if she dies, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, Fenrir here because she will tank a little bit because of high HP. And I, I really want her only to silence and she silences a lot if you know what she if you don't know what she does she has a 45 percent inflict silence on one enemy for one round so on one star also 45 but she deals extra damage now a little bit of extra damage it was four random enemies four random it means it doesn't know where wherever you put her she will deal silence to random enemies and uh, yeah i depend also a lot on my uh, this neolith because it has a stun but again, the MVP was her with her uh, silences and that's what kept me. Neftis healed, I guess, once or she didn't heal at all. She healed with her auto heal. She never used her ultimate. So let's go into the replay and check it together before we do the summons. So here we are. This is Neftis. This is the stage. Absolutely insane. I hated the stage. I did it over 20 times, to be honest. We start, I play on auto actually, uh, 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 on manual, I play my Neolith at manual. I hit them, as you see I start with the burning AOE random targets so I can kill them uh, faster and faster. And here's, uh, when you see this purple sign on the enemy, this is the silence, okay? First stage, easy clear with the waves, and now this is the second stage. Now here I need to stun the front line, sadly we stunned only Yerana, or we should uh, stun only one, the one with the highest HP. We were successful with stunning Yerena. And now we only need, look at Neftis. She has full uh, bar of energy. It means she will inflict the heal. So we lost our Aiken, which is all right. It's okay. Baphomet is really tanky because she's three stars on my account by luck. And here we go, the silence. So Babs is silenced. She missed her turn. And uh, Neftis was silenced. She's she's having full energy, yet she was silenced. And we killed Set. Now, killing Set was so important. This is why we use the Neolith in corresponding timing. And this is the only time she healed, actually. So this is the heal. As you see, full heals. And now they will eliminate my lineup. Again, 
they uh, they were silenced. This silence is with the auto attack of Audrey. So I was so lucky. And here I'm dealing maximum damage because I know I can one shot them if Fenrir went. And this is what happened. They killed my uh, my lineup and Fenrir went off. And they are low 8 HP. I want stuns. So the MC just stunned two units. And we got Nightingale. If you click the uh, your your uh, Neolith while you're doing uh, your animation, the animation will be cancelled. So here we go. We killed uh Nephthys and there's there it go there it goes i wasn't sure here i was like if i don't kill regina regina will absolutely destroy me and uh, babs is silenced so or or i forgot her name is silenced we didn't care we did it absolutely unbelievable i'm still i don't believe how i did it this took it looks easy here but this is super rng with the silence and the stuns and we did it niz and yulia i know it's a, be a best combo look at the enemy she she healed one time and then auto healing and Regina did the most of the damage in the in the enemy with set of course and for us I can did a little bit of damage but Fenriru carried all the way and of course uh, a little bit with Nightingale because of her damage and uh, her help and this is the ank it helps us uh, a little bit actually and all the damage from the others like th the thing is you don't need stars my Nightingale has one star on her if you have Niz with one star, it works. Yulia with one star, it works. Or Yulia maybe needs two star, three stars actually. But on two stars, she will be tanky. She can tank for you. I have Baphomet with uh, Baphomet with uh, three stars by random. I got it from dailies. I got it from normal summoning uh, on Aiken Banner. I got her, so it was unlucky. But it's still I I consider her one of the best tanks in early game, not to late game actually. And yeah. This is how we defeated it. Uh, absolutely crazy. And now we're gonna go and do our selected summons. So here we are, absolutely happy. Now I have my leader at four stars. Wow. My first four star is my leader. And my first three star was Baphomet. It was supposed to be him, but it was Baphomet because my sheer luck. And Audrey one star, Nightingale one star, Icon one star. And no stars on Fenriru, of course, and she deal dealt the most damage. This is why you need to understand how Fenriru is so important with her damage and everything that she has. Now, what do we need to do? The Tendros, of course. Now, I forgot what we had in the banner. Claim rewards. Okay, so Zawa with Rickin. Zawa alone. Ferentina, I have her. Stara, I have her at, at one star, I guess. Yeah, I have her at one star. Zawa again with two Yarana. I think I might take this. Baphomet, I don't need more Baphomet. Nightingale, which I'm really, really, I really want to take her. We have Camellia. Camellia, she has a link with somebody. Regina, I just got her. So it's either Camellia, either Zawa, because they're the only two that I don't have. But I know how Zawa is good. I know Camellia, everybody says she's, she's, she's not... A, she's not the best but she, she could be useful i'll find a way i'll try her but i just want to check with whom she is uh, uh, a link so we can go here and check the links right from here where is camellia i think i have camellia oh i do have camellia okay okay so it's 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 uh it's zawa it's zawa i don't have any other uh, option all of them i have them i want something new and zawa is something new and here she has double sr and here nothing and here Rickon. no i'll take her with the double sr so zawa is our new character that we are achieving right now what a milestone what a milestone chapter 50 unbelievable that's at 75 we have another 10 so okay let me do some draw let me check what we get of course we're gonna get somebody but who it will be tawaret of course i i am happy with tawaret if i get her because Tawaret is one of the uh, uh, T units that I need to uh, keep an eye on because they have th this bleed and, and functional set. I think set or Bastet will be good for me. I will take set or Bastet. I already have Regina, so I need set or Bastet just to complete the bossing team. Absolutely lacking in that department in the bossing on this account. So here we go, Bastet. Speaking about the devil, the three t three units that I recommended on my lineup for, for the bossing are here. And probably she's the best here now as a draw because I have two SR with her. Who would we another set? Perfect. Give me so much SRs and I will take set. I don't care. Okay, three again. And Snejana, Rikin, and Aurora. The best actually. 
one of the best or Eriri actually Eriri or Eriri if you add her to them also will be amazing who didn't we get uh, again Tawaret thank you for not giving me the stupid units that I really don't know I mean I could take Dina or Pan Pan they're perfect actually uh, this is the last one I'm not gonna continue right now Tawaret again they want me to build the team that I spoke about <laughs> absolutely insane <laughs> okay that's perfect uh, let me do these summons. I wanted to do them because I have him already. Three. Hopefully we get something. One blue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, game. It was a happy day. I finished chapter 50. It was so hard. Can you reward me with something else? Another blue. Give me an SR at least. I mean, I will not ask too much. An SR, please? Please? Okay, nothing. Well, we got the blues. Celebration summons. <laughs> yeah, and that was it. Uh... I hope this helps you get, get an idea. I'm not telling you to play the same units or the same lineups that I'm playing. This was the lineup that I used actually. These are the units that I used. It worked for me. This is how I placed them. They were absolutely awesome. I destroyed uh, Neftis. Uh, I don't have the biggest power. I don't have the smallest power. This power now became like this. I was 11001. One, I gained the 5 after I leveled up and after I unlocked the 4 star on my uh leader actually and yeah uh that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace